we were spreading the message, you talking in the world of sales, let's say, in the communication that, that I was talking about before, it's sharing your story. And then it's being available to talk about it, like you having a conversation here. And it's content, right? All of its content, all of its communication. And obviously, you're building a product that allows for communications in different ways, right? But if I can create a class and I can put it online and I can monetize that, well, that's that's a good thing, especially if I have something really valuable to offer and someone else is interested in that. But it all centers around communication. It centers around content. I mean, content a, is a word. It's tossed around a lot, but it's incredibly important. Obviously, we talked about media and content's a big part of that. And you can touch back on the, the points that you were making before. So please, you know, bounce around. I, I, that's what we like here. But the content being so important to not only you, but for now, we're getting into a little bit about like the people that you work with, the content creators that are coming to Uscreen to use your platform. Why is content so important? And, and, and what have you seen it do? I mean, you're obviously seeing what it can do for you. You've been on this podcast, like I said, a couple of times already. But what are you seeing it do for other people? But just kind of getting into that word content a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So content's actually like if you start out and you look at some of our customers, a lot of them have following. Some of them are very small following. Most of our customers are actually not big. They're individuals or a single influencer or someone who just creates content and wants to monetize it. So it could be fitness. It could be yoga. It could be teaching someone how to do magic or playing cards. It could be someone teaching ESOL or English math, anything like that. We ultimately help you build a video catalog, an online course to monetize that and and then we get it on your own app in, in the app store for a mobile and TV. Now, that's the average content creator that we work with. But content creation as itself, which is what's getting a lot more popular, is what actually Gary Vaynerchuk says. It's someone like yourself who just goes out there, creates content. It's another medium that allows people to hear and learn about you. Like, for example, me and you would have never run into each other if you didn't have this podcast. So you ultimately start creating, launch a podcast, you interview people, you talk to them, you have a good, genuine conversation, and you and I collaborate and we want to work together and I want to be on your podcast, right? So in that aspect, for me, PJ, he owns and operates Uscreen. I need, should now create my own content, share my story, talk and tell people how to monetize, distribute video, run a business, do operations, do marketing, tell my story, right? In that aspect, when I do that, that's going to open doors for me for all the people that have, would have never run into PJ unless they were looking for a video monetization platform, right? Mm -hmm. They Googled us, they found us, went through the sales process, somehow ran into me, and then they had learned about PJ. But in the aspect of back Backing up and I creating a lot of content to educate people, they're going to find me on Instagram, they're going to find me on YouTube, and they're going to run into me. So content creation absolutely makes a difference. It's a goal of mine. So it's exactly what you're doing, kind of following your footsteps. And it's very V says as well. You just kind of basically put yourself out there, tell your story, and that obviously is exposure. So that to me is what content creation is as its core, as an individual kind of getting out there. There's obviously content creation. You asked me about marketing. We do a lot of content and distribution and educating people from a content side, especially from a blog standpoint. So that obviously then distributes. People come, they search, they get educated, everything from compressing videos to doing this, to learning how to sell your videos and apps and all that good stuff, then they run into use screen. So that's obviously a primary way we market. Then there's SEO, there's social media. It's simply exposure and distribution of content gets people to read and then learn that, oh, that's you screen wrote that. Yes. That's incredibly well said. <laughs> and and there's another thing too, is when they go through that sales process, more and more people, once they learn about the brand, they learn about you screen, they dive into, I want to go into the rabbit hole to see what are they about? I want to see the reviews. Have they said anything? What do they stand for? Where are they located? You know, it's like, well, do they have an Instagram profile? Are they on YouTube? Now I can like kind of reverse engineer it. I discovered you on Google, but now I want to dive into the stuff. I can go to Apple Podcasts and search it. What podcast have you been on? That's how I did some research on you for today. Is I listened to another podcast you were on, so I got to hear your voice. I understood, you know, some of the your beliefs. I understood some of your the way you built you screen and and all that. And it just helps me better understand it. So if we're going to work together, or if I'm going to buy your product. I personally like to dive deeper into it. Other people just click the button. That's fine too. And that's where, you know, there's other kind of brandings for that. But it's it's incredibly well said. And yeah, it's it's that's going back to the thing of media, which is leverage. Now, leverage is a term, and I say this quite a bit, 
And that can be manipulated. You can manipulate something, you know, with leverage. But if it's genuine and you've used that as well, if it's genuine, if it's a genuine, if it's a real conversation, well, then it's just doing things the right way. And, you know, if something comes off of it, great, but that doesn't have to be the intent. So then you start getting into this whole thing about like, you even showing up on this podcast to say, hey, it's worth my time to talk to Eric for an hour, or it's worth it to create all this video and put it out there and offer a class because I think it's going to pay off in the end. But there's a challenge in there. And that's like the content creator's challenge. It's like, oh my goodness, what am I going to talk about? A lot of business leaders we talk to, one of the main reasons they don't start creating content is they don't want it. They don't know what to talk about. And even if they do know what to talk about, they don't think anyone's going to care to listen. And you know what? They're probably right. Most people don't care. But you know what? There's a lot of people out there. So there's a good thing that that's okay. That even if just 100 people cared or one person cared, that might make all the difference. But getting into all that, there is this challenge of creating content, be it for video or be it for you know writing a blog post. I mean, we all see it. We all go through the challenges of building a business. I mean, there's entrepreneurial challenges and all that. But do you see those challenges playing itself out, whether it's through the creatives that, that you work with that are creating videos for you screen? And yeah, is it, yeah, go for that. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, like in the aspect of content generation itself, it always kind of wins just because it, people are consuming content in many different forms, right? Podcasts, blogs, video, right? So in that aspect, it always wins because it, there's some type of consumption going on and it's just a matter of you getting in front of that audience you know and video is actually a very interesting one because blogs have been around for a while but now a lot of the content is turning into video it won't ever replace content like from in the form of words and blogs itself but obviously video is huge that's why youtube is exploding there's more followers that have a million following i think there's about eight thousand now that have a million or more subscribers on youtube and it's like doubling or tripling every year so that whole video movement is huge and that's where you screen actually came from is there's a lot of free content but how can we monetize that because i knew eventually people want to make money from their videos and they did they started to have issues on adsense they're getting demonetized there's different issues happening with the kids content different penalties and all that stuff so people are going to seek other revenues no matter how well that adsense pays they want a single source of income they don't want a single source of income they want to diversify and also they want to own their audience that following yes people are following you it's just a number right. you actually don't know their email and contact information that's right you can't yeah you can have an actual relationship with the person you know I always talk about there's email lists or there's other lists and, that, and that's that's good but who can you get on the phone with right now do you have a relationship of something, not maybe on the phone, but can you message with that person? Will they respond back to you? Do you actually have some sort of relationship there? There's a lot more to it. I'm Eric Kazimov, and for all of us here at CadSource, thank you for listening to Content Matters. If you'd like to connect, you can find me on LinkedIn or Twitter. That's it for now.